Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Who is a Science Lab with Technologist. This video was made by popular demand. In my last video I talked about why you should study SLT in 2023 and beyond. And many questions have been arising. What kind of careers are available in science library technology? So this, this video is about careers in science library technology. Now, I have compiled the list of 40 careers that can be done by a science library technologist. And these careers depend on your area of specialization. As we all know, SLC is divided into different areas of specialization. So depending on your area of specialization, this career might fit in. So let's get down to what we have for today. Now, my first list is about is basically generic, general science library technology. So mostly those I will mention in biology, in microbiology and in chemistry and in food so the first 10 list is about that then we'll go into physics we'll go into geology then we'll go into petroleum i know a lot of people may ask me a question about i'm studying slt around petroleum so what kind of careers are available in petroleum even in physics and electronics a lot of saying i'm studying physics and electronics and someone else is doing electrical engineer what's the point I'm like okay so i'm going to list them out for us so we know the careers available as a library technologist science library technologist in whatever area of specializations we have chosen so let's get down to it so number one the first one and the simplest one is the laboratory technician the laboratory technician laboratory technician are professionals that work in various scientific laboratory assisting scientists and technologists and researchers in conducting experiments analyzing samples the maintaining lab equipment and recording data mostly is those that did nd that are majorly laboratory technicians and laboratory assistants this number two on my list is research assistants um, science library technologies can be research assistants providing support to scientists and researchers by assisting them in conducting experiments and also analyzing and collecting data and perform, performing literature review. You can also be a library research assistant. Especially this is major in the area of NGOs. Those that do work with NGOs will know the major role of research assistants. Number three, you can be a quality control te technologist or quality control scientist. Quality, quality control Technologists work in industries such as pharmaceuticals, food and beverage, manufacturing, ensuring that products meet quality standard by conducting tests, analyzing samples, and maintaining quality control standards. Number four, you can work as a clinical laboratory scientist or clinical laboratory technologist. Clinical laboratory technologists work in the medical and healthcare setting, conducting tests on patient samples, analyzing results, assisting in diagnosis and treatment of disease, and also assisting in medical research. Number five, you can work as an environmental technologist, so environmental laboratory technologist. You, as an environmental laboratory technologist, you work in an environment, in environmental testing laboratories, analyzing tests on air, water, soil samples to assess their environmental quality, and compliance with regulatory standards. Number six, you can work as a forensic laboratory technologist. Now, forensic laboratory technologists work in crime laboratories. I'm sure you've watched movies as in um, you've seen movies that contain FBI where they take some samples and then take them to your lab. Yes, a laboratory technologist can work in that kind of setting, assisting in analysis of evidence, collecting crime from crime scenes, performing tests, and providing criminal can support in criminal investigation you can work as a biotechnologist biotechnology laboratory technologist or bio lab, biotechnology laboratory scientist technologists in biotechnology lab assist in research and development of new products you know biotechnology is about using microorganisms and life to develop new products conducting experiments analyzing data maintaining lab equipment specific to biotechnological processes Number eight, you can work as an industrial laboratory technologist. Industrial laboratory technologists or technicians, scientists, work in manufacturing or industrial setting, conducting tests, analyzing raw materials, inter intermediate products and the final products, and ensure quality, and quality control and compliance with industry standards. You can also work as a food 
food science laboratory technologist. Now, this te technology work in food testing laboratories, conducting tests to ensure that food is safe and of good quality, and analyzing the nutritional content and proximate content of food, and monitoring for contaminants. Now, and you can also work as a pharmaceutical laboratory technologist. In some schools, they have pharmaceutical technology under SLT. So, working in, in the pharmaceutical lab, you work in drug manufacturing, drug testing, assisting in development and testing of new drug. You can also work with um, NAVDAC, does NDLEA, testing drugs, quality control, and ensuring compliance with regulatory guidelines. For physics electronics, SLT physics electronics, most people are saying, okay, if I study SLT physics electronics, what's the point? I should have gone and study LX elect. Okay, so these are the careers under physics electronics. Number one, you can work as a electronic technician. Electronic technologists work with electronic devices and equipment, assembling, testing, and repairing electronic components. You also assist in designing and prototyping electronic cycles. Number two, you can work as a semiconductor processing technologist. These technologies work in semiconductor manufacturing facilities, operating and maintaining equipment used in the production of integrated circuits and microchips. Number three, you can work as a test engineer. Test engineer design and develop testing procedures and systems for electronic devices and components. You can perform tests to ensure the functionality, performance, and reliability of electronic products. Number four, you can work as a calibration technologist, a calibration technician. Calibration technologists calibrate and adjust electronic instruments and equip to ensure accurate measurements and operation. You work in calibration laboratories or industries where precise measurements are critical, such as aerospace and manufacturing. You can work as a in a photon labor as a photon photonics laboratory technologist. Photonics laboratory, te laboratory technicians work in laboratories that focus on study and application of light and its interaction with materials. You also assist in conducting experiments, assembling of optical components, and analyzing data around that experiment. You can also work as an acoustic laboratory technologist. An acoustic technologist works in laboratories that study sound and its properties. You can assist in setting up experiments, operating acoustic me um, measurement equ equipment, analyzing data related to noise, do audio engineering, and architectural acoustics in English. Architectural acoustics. You can also work as a nuclear technologist. Nuclear technologists work in nuclear research or power plants, assisting in conducting experiments, monitoring radiation levels, and maintaining safety protocols around nuclear emissions. You may you also work and operate and maintain nuclear instruments and equipment. You can also work as a metrology technologist. A metrology technologist specializes in precision measurement and calibration. You work with advanced measuring instruments to ensure accurate and traceable measurements in physics and electronic laboratories. You can also work as an instrumentation technologist. Instrumentation technologists install, maintain, troubleshoot electronic systems and instrumentation used in various scientific and industrial settings. You ensure proper functioning of measurements and control devices. Now, all these careers I have listed in the areas of physics can be done by one or two persons in some big laboratories. They have diff they have this laboratory section in different areas depending on how large the laboratory it can be. So, you can choose any of these careers to focus on. You can work like I mentioned here. You can work in sound. You can work in nuclear. You can work in instrumentation. You can work with light. You can work as a test engineer. Now, just pick a choice and work with any one of them. The next one we'll look at is in geology. In geology, what are the roles of science laboratory technologies in geology? I know we have some SLT that are doing geology, geomining, and other things. So now, in geology, you can work. We can work as a geochemical technician. A geochemical technician work in geology laboratory, assisting in the analysis of rocks materials on soil samples, you perform tests to determine chemical composition and help interpret geological data. 
you can also work as a petrography technician, petrography technologist. A petrography technologist specializes in the analysis of thin sections of rock and minerals under a microscope. You prepare thin sections, examine mineral textures, and identify rock types and structures. You can also work as a, sediment as a sedimentology technologist. A sedimentology technologist work with sediment samples to analyze their composition, texture, and dispositional environment. You may use laboratory techniques such as sieve analysis, grain size measurement, sediment sorting, soil analysis, etc. as a sedimentology technologist. You can also work as a geotechnical laboratory technologist. A geotechnical laboratory technologist work in the field of engineering geology. You perform tests on soil and rock samples to assess their physical and mechanical properties, helping with the design and construction of structures such as buildings and highways. You see how important science laboratory technology is. In geology, you can also work as a paleontology laboratory technologist. A paleontology laboratory technologist assists in fossil preparation, cleaning and restoration, fossil preparation, cleaning and restoration. They work with delicate fossil specimens using laboratory techniques to extract and stabilize the document and document fossils for further study. You can also work as a geophysical data analyst. A geophysical data analyst works with data obtained from various geophysical experiments and surveys, such as seismic, magnetic, and gravitational surveys. You process and analyze the data to interpret the subsurface geological structures and identify potential natural resources. You can also work as an environmental geochemi geochemical technologist. An environmental geochemical technologies analyze soil and water samples to assess contamination level and environmental impacts. You perform tests to determine the presence of pollutants and help in environmental remediation efforts. You can also work as a mineralogy technician. A mineralogical technologist study minerals and their properties and assist in the identification and classification of materials using laboratory te techniques such as X-ray, diffraction, and spectroscopy. You can also work as a geographic information system technologist. A geographic information system technologist work with spatial data and mapping technologies to create and analyze geological maps, interpret satellite imagery, and generate geological models. We also assist in data collection and database management around geographic information systems. Lastly, as, a ge as someone that studies SLT geology, you can work as a hydrogeology laboratory technologist. An hydrogeology laboratory technologist work with groundwater samples to analyze their chemical composition and quality and perform tests to determine the factors such as pH, conductivity, dissolved mineral, etc. and all of that. Now, in the petroleum sector, some schools have SLT in petroleum technology and or I know I've, I've seen some schools that have that. So in the petroleum sector, you can work as a petroleum laboratory technologist. A petroleum laboratory technology is working in laboratory dedicated to testing and analyzing crude oil. You know we have to test crude oil before they are sent to the market or sent for refinery or all those things. So you have to test crude oil, test petroleum products and related materials. You perform various tests to assess the quality, composition and properties of petroleum samples including the viscosity, density, flash points, sulfur content and many others. You can also work as an oil and gas analyst. A work oil and gas analyst analyze data related to petroleum exploration, production and refining process. You work, in you work with laboratory scientists to interpret and test, interpret test results, monitor production eff efficiency, assess reservoir performance and provide insights for decision making. Furthermore, you can work as a quality assurance and quality control te in petroleum technologies. A quality control or quality assurance petroleum technologies in petroleum industry ensure compliance with industrial standards and regulation. You conduct inspections, audits, and tests to verify the quality of petroleum products, monitor production process, and maintain quality control protocol. In the petroleum sector, you can also work as an environmental analyst. Environmental analysts in the petroleum sector 
assess and monitor the environmental impact of petroleum ex exploration and extraction and refining activities of the activities surrounding the, the refinery. You conduct and test and analyze samples to evaluate the air, water, and soil quality, assess potential contamination, and ensure compliance with environmental regulation. You can also work as a refinery process technician. A refinery process technician work in petroleum refineries, monitoring and controlling various processes involved in refining crude oil into different products. You analyze samples, monitor equipment performance, and assist in optimizing refinery operations. You can also work as a petrochemical laboratory technologist. A petrochemical laboratory technologist specializes in testing and analyzing chemical components derived from petroleum, such as polymers, plas plastic, plasmas, um, and specific chemicals. You also ensure product quality, troubleshoot process issues, and contribute to research and development in the area of petrochemical and petroleum. Finally, you can work as a crude oil acid technician. The crude oil acid technici technician or technologist analyzes the composition and properties of crude oil samples, providing essential data for refinery operations. You determine the crude oil's yield, distillation characteristics, sulfur contents, and other parameters that guide the refining process. Lastly, you can work as a research assistant in the petroleum industries, focused on developing new technologies and new products around petroleum exploration. You conduct experiments, analyze data, and contribute to innovation in the field of petroleum. Now, I've listed vast number of, let me say about 38, 38 career that can be found in science, laboratory technology in different fields, in biology, microbiology, in chemistry, biotechnology, in food, in physics, in geology, and in petrochemical. So if by some way I didn't list out any one you're interested in, you can Send me a put your go to the comment section, drop a comment, and I will definitely find them. So, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.